In the news this week, the Scottish Government comes under fire for its pro-transgender guidance to schools, concerns grow over the number of women addicted to gambling, and the plight of Christians in Afghanistan is raised in Parliament. Hello. The Scottish Government has been criticised for promoting transgender ideology, eroding the rights of parents and using unreliable statistics in its new resource for schools. The guidance says not every child will identify as the sex they were assigned at birth, and that schools should respect young people confused about their gender identity by using the name or pronoun they have asked to be used. Marion Calder of Four Women Scotland accused the Scottish Government of pushing a dangerous ideology, while one-time MSP Brian Monteith slammed the resource for sanctioning a level of secrecy from parents about gender transformation. Former civil servant Lucy Hunter Blackburn described data used on suicide among transgender young people as irresponsible and incredibly unsound. Institute's Deputy Director Simon Calvert said for the Scottish Government to come down so firmly on the side of trans activists is bad for schools, families and society. A gambling addiction charity has reported an increase in women contacting its helpline during the COVID-19 crisis. In figures seen by The Independent, GamCare saw a 9% rise in the number of women contacting them about compulsive gambling between 2020 and 2021. The charity's Marina Smith said a combination of factors, including women being more likely to be furloughed, social isolation, and easy access to betting products on mobile phones, had created a perfect storm for gambling. According to a separate report in the Daily Mail, women are being lured into gambling by bingo ads on daytime TV, which the paper described as a gateway to addiction. Labour MP Carolyn Harris, chair of the all-party parliamentary group for gambling-related harm, told the Mail, vulnerable women are watching these programmes with predatory advertising that promises them companionship. Really, they're taking advantage of women. The largest medical group in the US has called for biological sex to be removed from birth certificates. The American Medical Association said it would advocate for the removal of sex as a legal designation on the public portion of the birth certificate, with biological sex being visible for medical and statistical use only. The Board of Trustees said it was backed by its LGBTQ advisory committee, which argued that putting biological sex on a birth certificate perpetuates a view that it is immutable. The news generated backlash online, with one expectant US congresswoman tweeting, No, I am proudly having a baby boy. And finally, Christian MPs have called on the government to protect Christians and other religious minorities in Afghanistan from the current crisis. MP Fiona Bruce, the Prime Minister's special envoy for freedom of religion or belief, welcomes the current refugee scheme, but warned more must be done. It's vital that there is urgent international coordination to help them, the religious minorities in Afghanistan facing persecution. Quoting the G7's promise to stand for the promotion and protection of freedom of religion or belief globally, Bruce argued this is the moment to translate those words into action. In the same debate, Ian Paisley MP called on the Prime Minister to evacuate Christian missionaries currently under sentence of death. Well, that's all for this week. For regular updates and information on all of our stories, plus much more, visit our website at christian.org.uk. Until next time, goodbye.